checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Well, Dave had an update on the TV deal, which I guess was basically the same thing we've been talking about for a while. Although he did say flat out. It's done. He says the WBD deal is done. And I think that's true. But the announcement is still Well, imminent. the thing, here's the thing. I heard over the weekend that the deal was done. Like he signed the deal, okay? And so I thought after the pay-per-view, he was going to make the announcement during the press conference. So during the press conference, he did not make the announcement. And in fact, he said it wasn't signed. And I thought, okay, well, like in this case, I don't want to doubt Tony Khan because he's the guy that signs it. And you would think if he did sign it, he'd like be happy to announce it. So it's kind of weird when, you know, he's, he said he hadn't signed it yet, but I heard he had signed it. So what makes sense, actually, is that he has signed the WBD deal, but he has not signed the rest of the deal, which is believed to be for a fourth show on FS1, which would be Shockwave. So once that deal is done, I think he'll announce everything. So that is my belief based on what he said and semantics, et cetera, et cetera. But I do believe that everything is done with WBD and they're still working on the Shockwave deal for FS1. And then at that point, they'll announce it. So what's the deal? I don't know. But the number I kept hearing and, and everyone, listen, guys, I don't know. Okay. The number I have heard multiple times from multiple people is it's probably going to be double okay then the obvious question is double what <laughs> i don't know okay i don't know double what and every time i ask nobody knows so i don't know if it's double their original deal double their resigned deal double the deal they have that uh their extension i don't know double what okay but double all right which is great double but i think that what it's going to be is the double is going to include Shockwave. So I think that the actual WBD deal may not be double what they've got right now. It will be, you know, somewhat of an increase. And then they'll also have whatever's added on with Shockwave to get them to double. Or it could be w, uh, WBD's doubled and Shockwave's on top of that. One way or the other, they're going to be making a lot of money. They will be having a fourth show. Now, it wouldn't, wouldn't be my, uh, you know, I wouldn't. it's not my favorite, but... You take the money because we're running a business here. So at some point soon, I expect all of this to be uh, made official. But that's where I think that we're uh, we're at right now. And as far as like people keep asking about the pay-per-views, all right? I have said this before. It has been argued vociferously by listeners. <laughs> knuckleheads. Good. I won't say knuckleheads, but the point is, what I've heard has come from WBD, so I don't care what you think, okay? If you think you've got a solution, then go get hired at WBD and fix it. They aren't ready for a pay-per-view component on Max yet. But, Brian, they have a... I didn't say live sports. I said a pay-per-view component, okay? They aren't ready for a pay-per-view component yet. They're still working on it. I do believe that the pay-per-views are going to end up on Max. Maybe not immediately, you know, they, they, it's actually, I, I hadn't thought about this at the time, but now that I think about it. So Tony was on the show a while ago and, uh, with Dave and I, and I asked him, and this was just this was like the greatest moment of my and Tony's career. I said, I know you're not going to answer this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Is the fact that you have announced a bunch of different ways to watch the pay-per-views, YouTube, Triller, etc. Is that an indication that there is no pay-per-view component being worked on for this new deal? And incredibly, he goes, I actually will answer that. And what he said was, this has nothing to do with that. This is a separate thing, etc., etc. So now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, they may have made all these pay-per-views available on various platforms, not because there won't be a pay-per-view component, but because there's no guarantee that when they announce a deal, the pay-per-view component will be ready. But I do, I do believe that they are going to end up on Max 
but I don't think people should get their hopes up that it will be announced immediately upon announcing the signing of this new deal. So that's where I'm at at this point. I'm going to even pull it deeper into the weeds there. There may be, there may be both because you got WBD is still reliant on their cable channels. They are still reliant on cable companies and the owner of pay-per-view.com is a group of cable operators. And I think to take that away from them, you know, it's going to be one of those things. Like, optically, it's going to be interesting if they do give AEW a ton of money and that comes out through the Hollywood Reporter and all that because WBD has people that are looking at it that can't wait for news to come out to knife them with because they hate the way the place is being run and they, you know, for this, that, and the third when it comes to it. So it's going to be interesting if that number actually comes out and we actually find out what it is. But... When it comes to the pay-per-views, maybe that's why it would be doubled is because, yeah, you can get it through us or we're going to have your whole library is going to be available on Max or something like that. But I, I don't know. Bottom line is when it comes to a Fox deal for FS1, that's a blessing and a curse. They do need to have their hands in other cookie jars looking for people that want their content. So for them to branch out, that's actually a good thing, especially if they get paid a bunch of money. The problem with FS1 is, when are you going to be on that's consistent and that you don't get bumped all the time? Yes, you are going to be parts of packages, and I know that might be part of the reason why. I don't know. But that big ESPN package that they're doing, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that helps out there. True Sports or whatever, TBS Sports, whatever the new sports network of Turner is going to be called, TNT Sports, maybe that show could end up there. I, I don't know. But I do know that if they go somewhere else, yeah, that's a good thing, especially if they get paid, but they don't need another hour of programming, especially not one that's going to be knocked around a bunch of times and may only do Rampage ratings. I don't know if that's worth it and is going to be worth whatever money they get paid for it. Person here says, any word on Ring of Honor in any of this talk? Shockwave could be Ring of Honor. No? Well, here's, here's the thing. I'm not saying there will be no Ring of Honor component, because I do not know. But I do know I've heard zilch. Not one word about Ring of Honor in anything I've heard about the new television deal. Now, Shockwave. Could it be Ring of Honor? Well, sure, it could be anything. It could be FLM. You can do whatever you want. But here's the thing. Not Pride Fighting Championships. Okay, Fox, Fox lost SmackDown. Okay. It's not going on Fox. I know get it's not going. I know it's minds. not going on Fox. So let me get to the not point. Not everybody realizes. Let me that, get to the so point. Stupid. They believe that it may end up. It's on not going to be on Fox. But listen, they lost SmackDown. WWE SmackDown. Okay. They are they now didn't want they, it. They are now negotiating. Well, I think they wanted it, but it didn't no, do they quite didn't. well enough. No, they didn't. Not for the money they were paying. That's Remember, the point. that whole thing came down to having a 1.0 and 1849. I know. It didn't do as well as they wanted, but, I mean, if it would have done a little better, they'd have kept it because Dude, it did great numbers. it was the number one numbers. show on TV that got beaten in everybody's head over the week. So, no, if they wanted it, they could have kept it. Remember, that's where he was talking about that, well, 1.3, 1.4. Well, hold on. Let me get to, to this point. It. The Go point ahead. is, okay, they had WWE SmackDown. They don't have it anymore. They're negotiating with AEW. They're willing to put an AEW show on FS1. They're not paying for Ring of Honor. Like, if push came to shove, do you think they would say, we'll pay you $50 million for an AEW-branded show, we'll also pay you $50 million for a Ring of Honor-branded show? No chance, okay? No chance. Like, AEW is the more valuable brand name. When you're negotiating with television stations, you can either say, hey, we'll give you an AEW-branded show that's number one, number two, number three on cable among all television entertainment shows on, an, on, an, on a normal week. Well, not, but it's always buying Raw, but, you know, two, three, whatever. We can give you that, or we can give you Ring of Honor, which, uh, you know, we got 10,000 subscribers on Honor Club, and who knows how many people actually watch it every week. It's not going to be Ring of Honor, okay? You know what I can't even fathom that. Ring of Honor should be a fast channel. That's what Tony should want out of WBD and out of the cable companies is just like YouTube TV's got an all-impact channel because Access and Anthem put that out there. Like, do that with Ring of Honor. Try to increase its visibility that way. 
put old shows on there. Put people on there that are timely to your AEW and ROH programming now. Actually put new content up there, which is not done at least here in the States when it comes to, to Am what Anthem does with that Impact channel, but put things on there where you're hyping Honor Club, you're hyping the pay-per-views, you're doing that sort of thing. That is, to me, the most effective thing to have Ring of Honor. Putting it on a channel where nobody ends up watching it because it's on FS2 at 2.30 in the morning or something like that, it, to me, that's not going to benefit you whatsoever. Well, it will if you just put on a bunch of... AW dark matches and cash your check. I mean, that's that's the uh and then this guy goes, There's no way AW content would work on network TV. It would be fine. It would be fine. Are you gonna have as much blood and guts as you get on on cable? No. Is it gonna completely crash and burn? No. NXT is going to network television. Okay? We're three weeks away from NXT on network television. And guess what? That could have been Tony Khan's. If those, you know, all that talk was true about him putting Ring of Honor or looking to put programming on CW and then that not happening because of loyalty to WBD, CBS won't touch it. NBC's got what they got. Fox doesn't want it. ABC, they're in bed with WWE. You missed your shot. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.